Well, good afternoon, boys and girls, and mommies and daddies, and grandmommies and grandpappies. Today's story is Back to Work with the Lawnmower. Now, you remember that last summer, um, the boys started a lawn mowing, lawn mowing service, or really a yard service because they did the bushes and they did some weeds whenever it was needed. I mean, they were they were pretty doggone good for seven years old, and I tell you. And they ask, um, um, I, I don't remember now if it was Little Bad Wolf or it was Allie the Alligator, it's probably Little Bad Wolf, to help them also. Well, they talked it over with Mommy, and she suggested to add Allie the Alligator to also to help them because they just had they were the only ones in the woods that was doing this and so they just had a lot of customers and some of the older ladies you know they can't get out and do their yards and everything and pick their pretty flowers and so they wanted um you know to have it done you know also so they called Little Bad Wolf and Allie the Alligator and asked the boys to come over and they wanted to talk to them. And this was Saturday uh, last week. And um, so they told the boys, you know, what they were going to do and would they both join them this year? Well, they decided on how to split up the money and Allie the Alligator and Little Bad Wolf says, I, I, we like that idea. We're going to be glad to help you, and that way we can even do more yards. And that's, Squiggly says, well, that's kind of what we were thinking, that we needed to, we needed to expand, you know. And so Mommy Piggy was already getting phone calls. And so she had a list, and she had five different people on that list. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, tomorrow is Saturday. Now, you remember, they're also working with Mr. Farmer Brown. And of course, Little Bad Wolf really has to work with him. Because that's his new, who's his new daddy. So, they thought, oh, now what are we going to do now? We're going to have to try to work two jobs. And we're only seven years old. And Little Bad Wolf really has to work more with, with Mr. Farmer Brown than what he does with us, and oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what are we gonna do? So, Little Bad Wolf, he made a real quick phone call to Mrs. Farmer Brown, and he told her what was going on, and she said, well, she said, I would suggest that maybe that you do work with the boys every other weekend and that way you'll have Mr. Farmer Brown on the opposite weekends okay he said oh what a good idea he says thank you so very very much and he almost wanted to call her mommy but he was afraid to it was so sweet so he hung up the phone and he comes back and he tells the boys, how about if I do every other week? And you can maybe we'll schedule the, 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 the smaller yards on that week. No, we would have to schedule the smaller yards on the weekend that I'm not working. And so that's a four of you can do it. And Squiggly says, yeah, that sounds better. And then on the weekends that you're both working, then we can do the bigger yards. Okay, that was why they were going to do it. So, Mama Piggy, she handed them this list for tomorrow for four different yards. And thank goodness, first of all, they were all the people that they had worked for last year. So, they knew where the house was in the yard, and they knew what the people wanted them to do in the yard. So, that made it a lot easier than the first time around. And so, they, they checked off, and they, they looked at the list, and they said, okay, Let's do them this way. Let's take the, the hardest one first. The one that's going to take the longest time. Because we can always split up at the end of the list. And we don't all have to go to that same person. We can divide. 
And um, Little Bad Wolf says, that's a great idea, I think. How about you, Allie? And Allie says, it sounds good to me. So the very first name on the list was this lady named Lillian. And her la so she, she, was, she was a very sweet lady. She was an older lady, and she just didn't have any, any boys around to, to do her yard for her. So that's why she wanted to hire Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly and Little Bad Wolf and Out of the Alligator. They're going to have to get a name for this, this yard service, aren't they? So um, I think we could name it the PWS Yard Service. Piggly P, Wiggly W, and Squiggly S. PWS Yard Service. How about that? So um, they knew what she wanted, and she, bless her heart, she wanted everything. She wanted her weeds done. She wanted the edging around her sidewalks. She wanted her crescent grass mode. And then she wanted some um, um, hedges kind of trimmed up a little bit because it was coming out of the wintertime, and they were just all going all which way. So she wanted them nice and pretty. So that took a long time. So all five of the boys worked and they introduced Miss Lillian to Little Bad Wolf and to Allie the Alligator. And at very first she was kind of scared of both of those boys. And Squiggly, he's a, so smart, he noticed that maybe Miss Lillian wasn't too sure about Little Bad Wolf and, and Allie the Alligator being with them. And so he told her, he said, these two boys, we have known them ever since we were just way little. We're all the same age, and we're all in the same classroom at school. Oh, and she got very comfortable then, and she said, okay, she says, I understand. She says, I'm glad to meet you boys. She says, that's nice to know you. And she said, now, I don't know if Piggly Wiggly and Squiggly told you, but I always give my boys some lemonade and some fresh homemade oatmeal raisin cookies. Oh my gosh. That's Grandmommy's favorite cookie. So they did the yard and they did beautiful. They pulled the weeds in the flower bed and they trimmed up the hedges and they edged around the sidewalk. Oh, they're going to have to get a trailer to, to haul all the equipment in. And I don't know how they're gonna do that because they can't drive a car yet. So I don't know. They're, they they were on their bicycles and they were pulling the lawnmower and then uh, uh, Squiggly rode in the, in the, the, what do you call it? The riding lawnmower. Um, he, um, he, he um, so they carried the rest of the stuff. And so it, it, it worked out, but it gets heavy after a while, especially if you're going to go someplace else, you know, when you finish the first one. Well, they got through the second one, and it was good. And they got through the third one. Oops, they ran out of gas. So they had to call Mommy up. Quick, quick, Mommy, can you bring us a can of gas? We don't have any more gas in it. In both lawnmowers, the riding lawnmower and the push lawnmower, we don't have any gas in either one of them. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well... She did, bless her heart. She goes down to the store with her gas can and she fills it up and she runs back, she drove, back to where the boys were and they got that yard finished and now comes the two easy ones, thank goodness. And it was already 3.30. They started at eight o'clock this morning. Well, Piggly says, do you think we need to divide and conquer? And so Wiggly looked at the list and he said, well, it's, it's Mrs. Green and it's uh, Mr. Campbell. Um, and they don't live real close together either. They live far apart. I think we need to divide and conquer. And so Squiggly says, well, I'll go with Allie the Alligator and Little Bad Wolf, you go with Piggly and Wiggly. And they said, okay. And so... Allie the Alligator and Squiggly set off on their bicycles that direction and Piggly and Wiggly and uh, Little Bad Wolf, we went that direction. Wow, they're all over that woods, aren't they? And they met back to the house when they got through. Oh, 
They were huffing and a puffing and a huffing and a puffing. They were just so tired. And Mommy Piggy, she knew they were going to be tired. And she said, okay, boy, she says, um, I've got a nice treat for you. I made you a nice chocolate cake and I poured some nice cold milk. Oh, so why don't you sit outside here at the picnic table and cool off. And then why don't you, when you get through, jump in the river. You can jump in the river with your clothes on in the lake. It looks like a river because it's so big, but it's really a lake. And um, she says, jump in the river, the lake with your clothes on. It's okay because we're going to have to wash them anyway. And just kind of take a little <sighs> and get nice and cool. And they said, oh, mommy, you're the greatest mommy ever. And little Brad Wolf says, I love you, Mommy Piggy. And Allie Alligator says, Mommy Piggy, you're pretty doggone cool. Well, Mommy Piggy goes, whoa, boy. And she turned around and she went back in the house. Well, that's exactly what they did. They had their chocolate cake to eat and their nice cold milk to wash it down with. Oh, it was so good. And she made chocolate frosting. It was, oh, there's nobody that can make buttercream frosting like Mama Piggy, and especially her vanilla buttercream. Oh, it's so good. Mm, it's so good. Well, they jumped into the lake, and it was kind of funny. They didn't have their bathing suits. They just had their clothes on, but Allie the alligator says, you know, this is not too bad. He says, they're almost halfway clean, and then our mamas won't have to be so upset with us because we got them so very dirty. How about, I mean, that's a good idea, you know? Well, they played around for a while, and they got all nice and cooled off, and so it was time for the boys to go home. And so Alley Alligator, he was already close to where he lived, and the, the boys ran back to their house, and little Bad Wolf got on his bike, and he ran back on home to Mr. and Mrs. Farmer Brown. Well, Mr. Farmer Brown was just coming in to supper. He had been well working on that special project, you know, and... Uh, he still hadn't told anybody. I think Grandmommy broke her ring. Like this ring. Um, he still hadn't told anybody what he was building, remember? And Little Bad Wolf, he never asked any questions. He just always, his questions was, what are we going to do today and can I help? But he never did say, what are we building? Do we have to build it this way? He learned from Mr. Mr. Farmer Brown on how to build, and he was going to make sure he learned the best way. And so that's what he did. So he never asked Mr. Farmer Brown what they were building, and he knew it was big. It looked like a, a house, but it was like four times bigger than that house, and he still didn't really ask Mr. Farmer Brown. And so Mr. Farmer Brown says, Little Bad Wolf, he says, uh, did you have a good day today with your lawn mowing uh, with the boys? And Little Bad Wolf says, oh, I sure did. And we divided the money already. And you know what? We made $10 each. Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive. There is money mowing the yards. And Mr. Farmer Brown says, well, that's real good. He said, I'm real proud for you. He says, and next week I get you, right? And Little Bad Wolf says, yeah, I get you next week. We get each other. And he said, are we still building that, that thing out there in that, in that field? And Mr. Farmer Brown laughed. And Mrs. Farmer Brown was going like this. She was laughing because, you know, Mr. Farmer Brown already told her the other day, remember? And so he said, yeah. He says, we're still building that. And he says, I'm going to um, rely on you to help me pick out some color for the paint and little bad wolf says oh he says that would be so much fun he says nobody's ever asked me before on what colors i like and with that mrs arm brown kind of got some tears in her eyes and so uh, next week we will hear about more about the big building whatever it's going to be and what color it's going to be um and next week 
on, on Friday. We'll probably have more uh, yards to mow. And of course, you know, at night, on Saturday night, they all go to skating. Those boys are going to be real tired by the time they get to Sunday school now the next day, aren't they? Wow. Okay, boys and girls, that and mommies and daddies and grandmommies and grandpappies, that does it for today. And uh, we will see you Monday. And remember what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to uh, like <laughs> and um, make a comment and to share. And I have a feeling that Zach and Caden are watching again today. Hi guys, how you doing? Um, we will be having pictures of the boys and the girls um, pretty soon. The lady is coming to take their pictures. Uh, the only thing wrong with that is that she lives in Tampa, and that's not that far away, but to schedule her to come out here all this long ways and then take the kids' pictures, it's we have to really kind of work, you know, to see what's the best times. But there will be pictures of Piggly, Wiggly, and Squiggly, Little Bad Wolf, Allie the Alligator, Patty Pig, um, oh, Sally Skunk, and Sadie Skunk. Yeah, there will be. Okay, guys, like, share, and comment. Okay? All right. Bye-bye for today.